Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my Altered Composition book series. And I finished off with that. Look, it actually looks like she was right there all the time. <laughs> I think, I don't know. However, what I want to do is to work on this one a little more, or maybe not, or maybe on another one. But I wanted to start with the words because I printed the words and it took me so long and it upset me so much because sometimes things don't work. <laughs> it's hard, but sometimes things just don't work. So as always, we will start out with some just tracing, right? <laughs> now I just wanna put a little bit of that on top and then maybe a tiny bit. I don't even use my tool for that because I just want a tiny bit of color here and there. And I'm going to cut it out. And this is a quote I found on the internet. It says, believe in your strength, trust in your courage and follow your heart. That's so true. Everybody should do that. So let's do that. Now, all I have to do is to just cut it out straight. And this time I would really try to have it somewhat straight. You know, why not? I'm just going to use my little knife here. I printed it on my printer, which didn't want to work. And like I mentioned already, I don't have any word program or whatever. I type everything in my normal notepad thingy, which every computer has or every laptop. So I wish I had word, but truthfully, just for playing around, I don't want to pay for word, you know. If that much needed, I can probably find something online that I can change my font with, type something, take a screenshot, and then print it out. But uh, I don't really need it like that. I don't know. I just don't. So, cut all my words out. And now, nah, I'm just going to cut it with my scissors. Because this, I hope I can manage without a knife. <laughs> you never know. You never know. So, I want to put the words onto my page. That's why I'm working on them. Whatever else, right? So, okay. I might put something different on there too. I don't know. I will show you in a second. Once I'm done cutting here, actually, and as you can see, this paper was used and I actually used it in a video of mine I just made or I made earlier for, where is it? This piece. So I want to use this piece somewhere in my book and look how good it looks. Oh my God, it looks really good. I have a video on that. So this came from it, you know, <laughs> but that's just how I am. I don't like to waste paper, so I use paper scraps. Even if it's just white paper, to me it's like, oh no, I don't want to, you know. I don't want to throw that away. And it's just really white printer paper. So it's nothing like special. I wonder if this goes better when I hold the paper and not this thing because I only want a little bit to go around it and I'm going to use a pen. I can't even cut straight when it's like a little piece. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So bad. I'm going to use a pen to, you know, just outline this too because I want it to stick out a little. So let's do this. Uh oh come on see things like that take up the most of your time when you want to like put something onto something and all the little things and uh, just 
just the little things. The big projects, like the big things, don't take up that much time. You just actually cut and glue whatever, wherever. But if you want all this detail, you have to sit there and detail, <laughs> basically. That's why when I package my stuff for anybody and everybody who ever has gotten anything from me, they know I am not spending much time on packaging things just because it's how I am. I like to create it, but everything else is kind of... Okay, let me see. Okay, believe. Let's see where I would like to put them, right? Believe in your strength. I don't know, how do I do that? Trust, oh, then I would have to put something on there. Okay, let's see. Trust in your courage. Come on, courage. And follow your heart. We should do that. Okay, so I just wanted to see how I would line it up. But actually, I would like to fill this part as well, so... Hmm... I don't know now. Now I don't know, see, stuck. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Stuck right there. <gasps> Wait! Ah! That's why I was looking for butterflies. It's a pop-up butterfly and this is like the only ones that are kind of kind of um old looking butterflies and i'm trying 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 to get one that you know i might just put a butterfly right on there there is a butterfly so i'll put one right here and then i have my saying right there should be all right shouldn't it but you know what? Let's just mess up this page first. Because it's like too clean. It's, there is just a napkin on top and I don't know. I don't know. Do we glue this down first? Do we mess it up first? Let's mess it up first. But I need some kind of container to put this in. I'm going to put this to my ink because knowing me, it will be gone in a second. And then I have to print again and I don't want to. Okay, I really want to mess up this page because it does look, it's not just one page, it's a couple pages and they are connected, um, glued, connected. First of all, I'm going to use my tool right here. Just because all the edges, I even want to rip this part here off. I just ripped a tiny bit of paper off the bottom just because it's so straight. And who needs it like that, right? Nobody does. And I will just trust this part a little more because for some reason there was no napkin <laughs> on that, but we can fix that. I mean, who cares? <laughs> we will just fix that. We'll fix it by <laughs> tearing it off. <laughs> okay. It's getting a little harder to work with this. I don't know why. Probably because I'm, you know, in the middle. I, I don't know how to do this otherwise. I have to hold it like this because everybody wants everything to be in frame, of course. Okay, so that's messed up. There, I ripped a little because that looked super straight. And I'm going to just rip a little right here as well. Okay. Okay, I think that looks much better. Oops. Who fell down? Where did you go? Okay, oops. I still have my stuff right here. Oh, my arena. Okay. I want to give my stencil another try. And I'm really thinking of cutting this thing because when they delivered it, it was all like this. And I wish it was straight, you know, so... I think straight would have been better. I want to stencil here and there and, you know, 
everywhere and anywhere because I think it's going to be cool, you know, because then I can stress it, distress it, and afterwards I'll put some, I know, I'm just talking too much. Let's stop talking and let's find, I know I brought it back here. Oh, hey, right there you are. And there is a piece of plastic, so let's just, Move stuff around. Let's see. <gasps> okay. Ooh, another idea. I think. Ooh, do I want to do that on this page? Ooh, I don't know. I might. We will see. Sorry about that. Sometimes it's just like, ooh. Should we try that? <laughs> I know, it's really bad, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to put some of my distress ink all over this piece. It's not going to be enough, but then at least the paste is not going to be super white. You know what I mean? Oh, I, get, I have the spray thingy, actually. Okay, I don't need more paste because a friend of mine said... I should not use that much, then I will be better. So let's see if she was right. I'm pretty sure she is right. Oh, that's more than enough ink on there, though. Okay. Mix it up. Dear template. I forgot again. Stencil. You know what? I ordered a bunch of them, but I only got one. So, and it's, on some spots, it's not really stenciled out, like, you see, right there, it's still on there, but whatever. I'm just going to get, I don't really want a super good picture or anything down there. I just want some texture. So if I don't have enough or if something smears, it wouldn't be that bad today. Like yesterday, I tried to get a certain picture down there, right? So this is, to me, this is just for texture now. I want some texture right here. I never, in my wildest dreams, would I imagine, would I have imagined that one day I'm going to work with a tool like this, putting something on a stencil, you know, <laughs> never ever did I think that. Ooh, that's not bad. Look, it's not bad at all. It's going to give me something. Okay, but now I definitely need more of that. Where do I put you so you don't mess up everything? Okay, let's get a little more. See, friend, it was not enough. So maybe less is not more. <laughs> maybe more is more. <laughs> I'm just making fun. She meant put less on the stencil. And she is right. I know she is. So I'm pretty sure she has done it more times than I did. Uh wrong way yeah wrong side around okay let's just okay then stuck it down stick it down i stuck it down i don't know anymore what i'm talking about i'm sorry you can't see it i'm really sorry i should have moved the book before i started but i'm basically doing the same thing like over there and i cannot move it anymore because i started you know, I cannot move my stencil anymore until I'm done. So, I apologize for that. You can hear me work. <laughs> maybe, maybe that helps. Okay. Moving away my stencil. I'm not really looking for a picture or something. I'm looking for some texture on this. And I would say it might be even enough. You know, you know what I want to do? I don't know if there are more left on this. Oh, 
that was so smart to put it on top of the paste there, you know. You know what I want to do? I will just smear a little bit of paste here and there. Just my leftover paste, you know, like that. And then down on this part. It will give it texture too. I saw it on the other piece of paper. So, you know. Just randomly. Okay. Gonna go wash my stencil and be back. You know, somebody told me if I don't wash my stencil right away, then it's gonna be damaged. So, look. I just have this. And that right there. Let me think if I wanna, if I wanna play with the inks again, and then I do. I do wanna play with the ink. I wanna play with everything. Let's see if I do use the antique linen. Because this just looks too good. You know what I mean? It's just, let me. Put some drops all over this thing. So this is antique linen. Let's see what my next one does. My next one is really... This one is still walnut. It's still sealed. But I have vintage photo. And this makes dark spots. I know it already. So let's not like, you know, do it like with the other one. Let's be more gentle right here okay gentle okay doing good here and just because i really like my where is that should i try another one let's try another one this one is called money bags <laughs> i don't know I'm going to put money bags right on there and see first what the money... Oh, that's actually a pretty money bag. Okay. Let's put some money bags onto my stuff here. Why not, right? Do we need some gold? Some light. Oh. No, I think I'm good with that. I'm gonna go ahead and just dry the whole thing with my heat gun. Okay, so it doesn't dry that quickly even with my heat gun because, well, the whole stuff here dried, I think, somehow, some, you see? Isn't it actually pretty? It is, but I'm not done. I still want to glue my words down, but, <laughs> now I'm really thinking because I feel like I could put something right down there as well. I'm going to do it. You know what? While this is kind of drying here, I'm going to make something out of this one. And I will use my... This is inspired by Pinterest. You know what? I don't even know if I have to say that all the time because... Most of my crafts are inspired by something. You know, I am spending so much time laying down, basically, if I don't feel well. And I'm not just wasting my time doing nothing, staring at the wall. What I will do is either I'll watch a documentary, <laughs> preferably on serial killers. <laughs> I just like that kind of stuff but I watch different documentaries. And while I watch, I actually surf the internet and I don't know, I get lost on Pinterest or somewhere, you know, okay. So how many would I need? Basically, you can make a dress out of those like that. Yeah, oh, that's going to be super pretty, guys. I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm not bragging here. But I'm feeling like this could turn out really good. Okay, let's do this. 
all I need to do is just cut myself a couple of those and I'm gonna cut another one <sighs> that's the boring part you know when you have to cut something for a while I don't want the boring part I want to see what it's gonna be you know <laughs> who needs the boring part of cutting something I don't maybe four will be enough we'll, we'll see in a bit if I don't cut off my fingers here okay okay so let me put this aside just for a second just because we are going to do something different I need to just trust this and I'm going to use let's see what the sugar does Oh, so pretty. This is called spun sugar. I'm not sure if you call it spun. Sometimes I don't know how to pronounce words and I really don't know what spun means. So I never use it actually when I talk. So I have no clue how to pronounce that. And I'm going to just put some spun sugar all over my cheesecloth here. And then take the cheesecloth <laughs> off. <laughs> and... Let's see tumbled glass. Why not? Some blue has to go in there too, right? All right. Uh-oh, that came apart, but that's fine. Okay, now I have to take my cheesecloth off of this one as well. Not to lose my words, which were in the same container. Now, let's do this. We will have the upper part for the dress going right there cutting off right here I will use this part for something else for this thing but you know just in a different way and then we'll put this one up here and cut the lower piece off again do we have enough up there look I'm just trying to you know get her in there cover up the upper part here let's see I do not need to cover up the whole thing so I'm just basically having the strings done here and that should be it for the upper part so all I need to do now will be the lower part like this and then I'll put all the little strings on there like this we will see what's gonna happen I don't know it doesn't look too good right now but you know you never know what it turns out to be and I will just whoop <laughs> okay what do we have right here Ink. We definitely need more ink for that to look good. Do I actually have a smaller flower? This is gonna be way too big. Way too big! Okay, I need to look for a smaller flower and I need to get more of the ink on there. And the sugar. Let me see if we can ink up the ants in a more pinker pink just like that okay what else is actually shabby oh i know what's shabby let me say yeah let me let me look for a flower okay so somebody sent me those in mail they look perfect this is i think too big it's very very pretty flower but also i found some pearls I can't pull them anymore because they are still in the box. <laughs> and the box is still where the box is. Okay. Let me just cut a piece. And I would just say they could go like this, right? What do you think? Does it make everything shabbier? <laughs> 
And then all I need is a flower to put right there. And somebody sent me those pretty flowers. They are paper flowers. They are really tiny. And I would just put one right here on the side, or maybe two, or maybe three. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me because I didn't figure that part out yet. But I will figure it out in a second. Let me see. No, that's way too much. And I cannot go too bulky. Don't forget that. Okay. I have my silicone glue right here, which I'm going to use. right there in hopes to connect everything I put down there, you know, plus my pearls, <laughs> hopefully. Okay, can we use anything here that we don't mind being destroyed? No, I can't use anything. So let me use this one. I use this a lot. for gluey stuff okay just because I also want to put the flower on top right away oh my god I'm loving not to have to get my hot glue gun I really do I love that if this holds up and it should because everything I did with that did hold up oh, look <laughs> my my shabby something I will cut this off, but first I have to put it onto my book so I can see what I'm going to do at all. I think it's going to look perfect right here. You know, and if those like come out a little, it's not too bad, but I'm not going to use the whole length of that. I think this is enough, long enough, maybe even shorter. Okay, I'm not going to toss those, of course, because I can use them wherever. I'm thinking right now if I'm going to use them right here on top, but I think I'm good. I'm good. I don't need too bulky. Okay, what do you think? Should I put it on there? Sometimes I can't decide. I will put it on there, but because I want to glue everything down and mod podge everything, huh? Good thing I remembered. I'm going to put it aside for right now. Right now, I want to stick those down, nothing else. And then I will be done for this video. Okay. Before I stick those down, I want to grab some fine pan and I will just go around the whole thing here. You don't have to be straight, you know, it's just... Now I don't remember, what was it? Trust. Trust in your strength? I don't know anymore. It's okay. I can look up because I'm not going to finish it anyways. My camera's like dying already. Um, Let me show you real quick. So I'm going to just put some border around this just so it sticks out a little more. And... What I'm going to do is I will go off here and then I will just stick the words down and mod podge the whole, <laughs> what am I doing? I'm doing it in the back. Oh my God, how funny as if I need this in the back. I will mod podge the entire page and let it dry, you know, but by now you have seen me mod podging everything, so many things. I believe I'm missing one piece of paper that I think I can do it off camera, right? So, 
Okay, I'm definitely missing something here. Did I lose it? No, it's hiding underneath my ink. The heart! <laughs> okay, let me finish that. Okay, so I'm going to glue them down. And yeah, if I do anything else off cam, I will tell you. But for now, that's it. I love my little thingy right here. I think it turned out so cool. Look. <laughs> is it chummy or what? <laughs> In my opinion, it is. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. It's always very encouraging. Leave a comment down below. And yeah, share, subscribe. Check out my new channel as always. And I would say enjoy your day. And um, yeah, I will see you for the next X episodes. <laughs> bye bye.